the evolution of processes is, is uh, always fascinating as well, because there is, I mean, over a period of time, like, you know, technology is changing all this, but does painting murals change over a period of time? Like, are there different well, methods or things people want? Like, what is the evolution from the, when you first started out to what you do with murals now? Well, for, for me, I can personally say that even at 50 years old, I'm still learning new mediums. And over the summer, I really, um, I, I won't say I'm a master by any means, but I became somewhat proficient using spray paint and actually completed my first all spray paint mural up in Alpena this summer. Really? Yeah. And that was an amazing opportunity to be hosted by uh, the city of Alpena to go paint a mural up in, in their wonderful little community. Was it somebody that you worked with that pushed you well, in the direction of spray paint or this, how did that happen? Um, well, um, I, I myself really wanted to get into that because it's a lot faster. <laughs> I'll bet. Than, yeah. the, 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 than, than brush. And so I, again, there was kind of a really wonderful, um, wonderful co collision of events that that happened. So the Alpina gig that we, that I did this summer, that was part of what was called the fresh waves mural festival. Okay. And there was a call for artists and last year was their very first year. Then they had one, one artist that was from Alpina who now resides out in Denver, I believe, hmm. but they came back and, and they did this really amazing wall. And so this was the second year. And they had a, a small call for artists saying um, the whole, what, what, what really got my attention for this, for this festival was that it was all about the artistic vision of the artist and their expression. So they weren't interested in getting a uh, homogenized history of Alpina or anything that was a guiding sense of what they wanted that was leaving it 100% open to the artist and whatever their style was. And they really, really gave respect to that. And so I was all over that. And I had started this new process with a big kind of color bands. And it really felt it lend itself to spray paint because I was really thinking it would be spray paint because the first site that the committee had selected, it was way up on a two high, two, uh, two story high building. Oh. And so it would have been up with a lift or a cherry picker and taking buckets and brushes up there just did not seem like it would work out so great. <laughs> So I uh, spent a lot of time practicing in my garden studio I have out back, which is basically just this area of trees with a little opening in it, <laughs> but it's quite, it's quite beautiful out there. And, um, I, at the same time as I was trying to figure out this mural and how I was going to do this up in Alpena, I was also the artist chosen for this year's edition of the great mural project which is a mural project uh, group in Saginaw, Michigan, okay. which is right next door to Bay City. So we're all like right around here. All right. Okay. So Saginaw, Bay City, Midland is all, all like kind of around here. And that's where the majority of our work is. And the um, in doing this mural for Saginaw this past summer, I was able to, which was another of a uh, spray paint mural, but I was able to get a master come up and help, help us. And his name was Kevin Burdick from down in Fenton. And he's very much involved with the Flint art community and um, has done some just incredible murals all around and just an amazing guy. And so he came up and I was able to hire him to help out with this project for the great mural project this summer. Yeah. And so we turned in, um, we took a space that was, uh, completely not used. It was very dirty and we turned it into like a little oasis with, um, wetlands and a lot of animals it's underneath a bridge. So you have an embankment and you have two big columns of four, uh, four pillars a piece, four, six pillars, 
two, four. Yeah, I think six. Okay. And and lose track because there was a lot of them. Right. But it's it was big. You know, we're talking 14, 15 feet high at, at the top end, and then there's not an incline. So we had a lot of square footage to play with, but it's almost like this environment where you walk in. And so we had to combine the abstract of colors and kind of symbolizing the um, – the micro scale of what's happening beneath the surface and all of the worlds that are going on in our ecological systems Mm -hmm. with the different sizes of animals as they go down. Um, Plus there was um, a lot of different animals that Kevin then came and did all out of spray paint. And so I picked up a lot of knowledge just watching this master Mm. um, do this. And then, so along with practicing a lot, and having the opportunity to be uh, invited to Alpina to um, put in one of my murals, um, that uh, it all kind of came together. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I really enjoy spray paint. And now it's just another tool to have in the arsenal to uh, utilize when, when it's needed. That is really cool that it's, you knew you wanted to use it. You brought in a guy to help you do it. And you got through watching him and collaborating. Like now you have the ability mm-hmm. because you got to watch him firsthand and like interact with it. That's mm-hmm. re- essentially the, the teacher was becoming the student. And now that teacher can <laughs> go back and teach his students. Well, maybe not. You said oh, you, tra- you yeah, but... you teach grade school kids. So you don't probably don't want to uh, give them I... spray paint cans. 